the Arab uprising mm -hmm. is coming. Greetings guys, family, welcome to this video. It is a very important video. I want you to share this video as many times as you can, uh, especially those in Africa. This was a prophecy given by Archbishop Nicholas Danka William, Danka William in 2019 concerning the Arab uprising, concerning people taking over leadership. Uh, I want you to go straight to this video and watch if you are new, show us love by subscribing, like it, and sharing this video. God bless you. Just listen. I'm telling you something. Mm -hmm. There is a wind coming. Wow. And it's not 2019. It will begin after 2020 going. After 2020, there's a wind coming. There's a wind coming. Mm -hmm. The Arab uprising mm -hmm. is coming. Yeah. It's coming. It's coming. By the youth. It's coming not just to Ghana, West Africa, all over. If we don't do something, if we don't give them hope, that's why I'm going back to the schools. Speak and to I'm, them. And I'm engaging the youth again. Because if we don't give them hope and a sense of direction, the most dangerous thing in life is to fight somebody who has nothing to lose. Mm. They don't have wives. They don't have children. They don't have cars. They don't have lands. They have no hope. Nothing to live for. They don't mind dying. So our politics is treading on dangerous grounds. It is. Africa. Because I see it everywhere. And it's very scary and very worrying. That will, will the wind start from Ghana? I don't know, but it's coming, it's coming to West Africa. After 2020? Yeah, after 2020 going, 2021, 2022, 3, 4 going. It's, if something don't change to give the youth hope, I'm telling you, and I'm speaking... Do you think this 25-year plan will work? It will work if only our leaders, especially former presidents and the leaders of today will come together and say, hey, let's take hold of our country. Let's do something because this party politics, as much as it's democracy and it works, we have to do it in the context of what works with our tradition. You know, and if we don't look at it carefully, it will create an atmosphere that the countries of Africa will become very difficult to govern.